Hello and thank you for watching my video. My name is Astrid Krasnici. I'm authorized CCNA and CCMP trainer. Now we move on to uh, section 11.4, managing iOS configuration file. Chapter 11, it's a network, part of CCNA semester one, introduction to network. In here is we have a root of file system. Show file system, this command provides useful information such as the amount of available and free memory, the type of system and its permissions. For permissions that we can have is read only, RO, write only, WO, and read and write, RW. Shown in the flag column, the command in the command output. The asterisk here that we see indicates that the, this is the current default file system. To backup and restore using TFTP, configuration file can be restored on triple file transfer protocol TFTP server, which is a UDP protocol and port 69. We use the command copy running config to TFTP, save running configuration to the TFTP server, or copy startup config to the TFTP, save the startup configuration to the TFTP server. Using USB interface on a Cisco router, USB flash drive must be formatted in FAT16 format if you want to use USB. USB can hold multiple copies of the Cisco iOS and multiple router configuration allows administrators to easily move configuration from one router to another router. Now, on this demonstration, I'll show you how to backup a configuration file, like a startup or running configuration file, to the TFTP server. Now, for this exercise, or for this demonstration, I will be using the same network that we'll be using for uh, section 11.1, .1, .2, and .3. I've got one router, and PCA, and PCB. What I'm going to do in this exercise, I'm going to copy the running configuration from router 1 to router B and then maybe the startup configuration from router 1 to router B. For this, uh, we need a, a TFTP server running on the PCB. Now, TFTP server is just a matter of application run, uh, downloading and running on your computer. So I open the PCB here and I've got the TFTP server application already installed. This is you can download it and use it for trial purposes for a month without paying, so for your practices. So open the TFTP server here. So double click. It says connect to TFTP server, local server, connect as the current user, Windows user. Yeah, I want to do that. So click OK. Now the TFTP server is ready and connected for you to send the files to it. So if I go back to my uh, router, so I'll go to C secure CRT and the command to copy the a running configuration to TFTP server is a copy running config to TFTP and press enter. Now it's going to ask you the address, address or the name. If you have a DNS on your network, then you can just put a name, but we don't, so we're just going to put the IP address 192.168.12.200. Then it's going to ask you for the destination file name. Now the file name you can pick the default R1 config, or you can make it more like a put a date on it. I would like to put a date R1 config and put like a date, which is uh, what's today day 21, 21 September, 2015. So I know, okay, well, this is a configuration, especially startup configuration. You want to put a date on them and then press enter. And it's going to go and ask the, uh, try and contact the TFTP server and copy the file to it. I got two exclamation marks. And it's very fast because it's not a big configuration file that we have. I'm not expecting to do it go anymore. I got uh, a dot. So let me just go to my PC. I got configure. I got uh, uh, the configuration. It says file uploaded to server successfully. I know I saw a dot there. I was going to be worried, but everything it worked. He tried it again. Maybe there was a network uh, too much uh, on the network, so. That's why it was slowing down. It's got some timeout. But if I go to my PC, I see on PCB, I got the configuration. It's been uploaded or file has been uploaded correctly. Right, so I can uh, double click on this and I can open it uh, from with a notepad. So say notepad here. And that's my configuration. But you can see that uh, the, with a notepad, is everything is on the one line configured like it's hard to read it really so the best thing to open this is it would be uh, it would be with the uh, wordpad so open with and then I choose a wordpad here 
with the word pad it's going to be a bit more get rid of that a bit more structured yeah so that, that's my configuration that was my running configuration that i saved right i got my usernames my local database and transport input in SSH we were doing earlier and so on. Same thing I can do it with a with a startup configuration. So if I say copy, uh, I haven't saved this before, so I need to save this running config. So copy running config to startup config, startup config. If I didn't save it, if I don't have anything on the startup, it's just gonna give me an error. I can do it, I can just try it. So copy uh, startup uh, startup config to TFTP. Right, address 192.168.12.200. And again, uh, this, this one. So I'll write it there. And then underscore two as second option. Okay, it's fine. You copy the startup config. There was already a startup configuration there. Two exclamation mark, everything worked fine. So if I go to my PCP, I got my, there, the second edition. Right, uh, if I right click again and say open, that's gonna ask me what do you wanna open it with? I wanna open it with the word pad. Okay, that's my startup configuration. As you can see, the startup configuration, there's nothing on it there's only host name r1 and so on there's no it's a bit different to my running configuration if i if we open the running config again see that was my this is my running configuration i got the username here three users i got the ssh authentication retries i got the loopback we configured early on interface fa00 we configured early on Quite a lot of configuration, but it's different to my startup configuration because I have not saved it. So on the startup, there's nothing in there. So for that reason, I had to do copy running config to startup config. And that's the file name. Yep, reconfigure, confirm that, and that's it. We can uh, copy, for example, um, for example, we can copy from the TFTV to the uh, router here. The command would be copy tftp to uh, startup maybe. Or well, it can be a running config but we don't do startup config. Address uh, 192.168.12.200 pcb and the source file name. So if I go to pcb and just take that source name so say this one right f2 control c to copy it and then I go to the router and right click here okay destination file name yeah startup config as well so it's going to try and access it and you see it's already copied it from the tftp server to the router okay um that was a demonstration on to showing you how to uh, save or backup your configuration files either startup or running configuration because this is running on GNS, I can't copy the flash. So if you would copy, if you would want to say, for example, the iOS, you type copy, um, sorry, copy flash to TFTP, right? And then source file name, you'll put like whatever the flash is, uh, I don't know, seven, uh, say two, eight, eleven, eleven, something, something, all the dot bin in the end, and then the destination and so on but it's not going to work here because uh, we don't have a it's on the gns it's not gonna, it doesn't work on the gns here okay uh, thank you very much that's that was a showing you a demonstration how to back up the end configuration backup configuration files thank you for watching my videos and please have a look at other videos that i have and don't forget to subscribe thank you this has been astrid krasnichi bye bye